Hello, I'm Eddie Lacoste, Embedded RF Applications Engineer. Today I will talk about the TRF-7970A NFC transceiver. The TRF-7970A is pin-for-pin -pin compatible with the TRF-796X devices and it offers the same functionality in reader-to-writer mode but also allows for peer-to-peer -peer and card emulation modes. I will discuss the other differences between the TRF-796X and TRF-7970A later in this video. For more information on the TRF-796X, please visit ti.com slash TRF-7960. The TRF-7970A is compliant with the NFC forum standard. Near Field Communication, or NFC, allows for short-range transactions and data exchange. This is the technology driving many ease of use and creative applications intended for smartphones and tablets. These include mobile payments, social networking applications like check-ins and electronic business cards, automatic pairing of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as more traditional RFID applications such as access control and asset tracking. Near Field Communication, or NFC, is a combination of technologies based on existing standards, all using the Near Field operating at 13.56 MHz, with data rates, downlink and uplink modulation methods and schemes varying according to the base standards ISO 15693 and ISO 14443. It is an open platform technology, first described as NFC IP-1 and standardized in ISO 18092, ECMA 340, and ETSI TS 102190. The mechanism to detect and select one of the possible communication modes is specified in NFC IP-2, which is documented in ISO 21481, ECMA 352, and ETSI TS 102312. As mentioned previously, the TRF-7960 and TRF-7970A are pin-for-pin -pin compatible devices, but there are some important enhancements in the TRF-7970A to note. The TRF-7970A supports two new modes of operation, peer-to-peer -peer and card emulation. The TRF-7970A has a larger 128-byte FIFO. This enables faster overall throughput as may be required when transferring larger amounts of data in the peer-to-peer -peer mode. The TRF-7970A allows for use of a 27.12 MHz or 13.56 MHz crystal. This higher clock speed can also be used by the attached microcontroller to help speed up code execution time. The TRF-7970A EVM allows for evaluation of the transceiver IC in reader-writer mode peer-to-peer, -peer, and card emulation. When the device is plugged into a USB port, it will enter the automatic polling mode. At this point, the board is in reader-writer mode and sending read commands for ISO 15693 and 14443A and B. The appropriate LED will illuminate when a tag is within range and successfully read. Further read-write functionality is available using the Windows GUI software. Using two PCs, we can test the peer-to-peer -peer and card emulation modes. First, be sure that the USB driver and Windows GUI software has been installed on both PCs. To show peer-to-peer -peer functionality, one PC will be set as the initiator and the other PC will be set as the target. The appropriate register changes will be applied after clicking Set Protocol. Once both PCs have been set as initiator and target appropriately, it is time for the initiator to connect to the target. The box will change to green and say connected when this is successful. Using the data text entry box, a text message can be sent from the initiator to the target. Additionally, this software allows for file transfer using peer-to-peer -peer mode. The initiator must select the file to be sent and the target must select a directory where the file will be saved. Once both have been selected, the file can be transferred. We have also implemented a bootstrap loader for the MSP430 that uses peer-to-peer -peer mode to send the firmware update. This is demonstrated using the MSP430 F5529 USB experimenters board as the initiator and the MSP430 F5438 experimenters board 
as the target receiving the firmware update. Both experimenters' boards have been fitted with the TRF7970A TB board, which is connected to the RF headers. The MSP430 F5438 board is put into target mode by pressing and holding S1 while pressing the reset button. A connection is initiated by the MSP430 F5529 and the firmware and data rate can be selected. I have sent code number 2 at 424 kbps. Code 2 firmware is an ISO 15693 polling demonstration. This file transfer only takes a few seconds and then the MSP430 is reset with the new firmware running. This allows for close proximity field updates where you may not have access to the physical connection. The inherent short range of the near field also serves as a physical security layer, th though encryption could also be employed if required. I hope this video will help spark some ideas for your next NFC design. For more information, please visit ti.com slash trf7970a.